Hi guys, CyberD here, and we're back for part 35 of Let's Play The Secret World. Oh, hello. Um, in this video, I wanted to show you the auction house, because in my last video, I mentioned it, and I realized I should probably show you how that works. Um, so we're outside in London. I'll show you on the map. We're right here. So um, basically, when you're coming from Agartha, you come out here, and then you just go this way, and yeah, over here. Or you can cut through the park. That's what I do. Anyway. Um, so once you're inside, you just talk to a bank teller, and like this is your, this is your bank. So I can take an item and store it in here. Like I don't want this owl or this kitty. I like this kitty. Um, I don't need the dragon flare. Like, say for example, and I wanted to get rid of one of my zombie powders basically just store it in here and if you need more bank space you can expand it it costs a heck of a lot of money so I'm not going to do that but that just gives you an idea if you want to sell something like I have let's see what do I want to sell I have an imperfect Koru rune so basically I go to buy and I can type in imperfect Koru rune and it sells for a hundred packs. It's not very much. Um, so it's kind of not worth selling. But I'll just show you what you do. Oh, going a little fast. You right click, hit sell item. And we're going to put it for 99. Um, and we wait until it sells. When it does sell, we check our post service. And it will basically show up here. Um, but I think I've already checked all these mails because they're all empty. Wow, I have a lot. I sold a lot of things. Um, basically, that's what made me all, all the money I needed to get the sprinting three. So that was pretty nice. Um, okay. And there's also a cabal bank. That's how that works. Basically, anyone could deposit, but I think only officers can withdraw. Um. It can get kind of crowded, so if you're a guild leader or a cabal leader, it's a lot of work, but it, it's worth it. It helps the cabal, so it's definitely worth it. So the next thing I wanted to show you was how I made money selling stuff. Um, one of the things is just by selling some of the runes and um, materials that you uh, de basically uh, disassembled, or even just selling the item itself is another option. Um, another way to make money, and I'm going to show you, uh, is to look at things that are up on the auction house that actually they're selling for cheaper than they vendor for. And you would be astounded that people do this, but I'm just going to show you, like, all you do is type in we weapon toolkit, well, any toolkit, glyph, talisman, but I'm just going to show you weapon. and basically choose the quality level of the one you want so let's say five for example and I have down here what everything sells for and I'll put it in the description to give you an idea but basically weapon toolkit level five sells for two thousand um, basically all of these are over two thousand so we, we're not gonna buy them we would lose money if we bought it and sold it however someone selling it two weapon toolkits for three thousand and that's actually we're gonna buy because okay so three thousand was taken from our thing and we got two weapon toolkits and all you do is you go all the way not all the way but um, you just go into here it's pretty pretty easy um, yes. right click her Hi. and right click the toolkit and we just made a profit of 1,000 packs. So that's pretty cool. I mean, if you do it enough, and if enough people are selling it for cheaper than the vendor price, you can actually make a lot of money. So I'm just going to show you another example. Um, let's do quality level 6. So quality level 6 sells for 2,400. Scroll down. Um, yeah, 
2400 times well what is this is it two no we're not really making a good deal from this so let's try seven um, that sells for 2800 yeah it doesn't look like there that many in the auction house for that um, I did buy a lot of the ones that already that were selling for cheaper so that might be it too but let's see talisman let's try talisman 5 Ah, here we go. So Talisman level 5 sell for 1600 packs. This one, this person's selling it for 555, so let's totally buy it. Um, this one, we're also getting a deal because it sells for 1600 times 2 is 3200. They're selling it for 2000, so yeah, let's buy that one. And let's see, what else? Any other ones selling stacks? Nope, not really. Um, but like the same thing, you just take it out of here and you go sell it and make profit. It's so easy. I mean, sure you can kill monsters and make packs this way, but this is actually a lot of fun for me. I don't know why. And um, depending on how much, like that one person sold it for 555 and it sells for 1600. So yeah, that's a, that's a nice profit. So, received 4800 and I'm not sure how much we spent, but we definitely made a good, pe pretty penny from that transaction. Um, so, yeah, you guys can do it. I don't care, like, um, it's all fair in the marketplace. I gave you a tip how to make money if you're interested. Um, definitely helps out. It got me the sprint three so if you like have no money you can't afford anything it's just one way to do it another thing uh, you can do is you can obviously look at weapons and see if someone's selling it for really cheap and then you can sell it for higher um, like I got this X for 8,000 so if you saw someone selling it for 500 you definitely would make money from that um, well actually if they're selling it for less than 4,800 then you're definitely making money from that one and I doubt anyone's going to but we might as well check uh, weapon hammer six quality level six six thousand what what did we ruthless hammer sells for six thousand what did we say uh, it sold for 4800 yeah so we wouldn't make money from buying that and vendoring it. I mean, you might make it from buying it and reselling it for higher, but I'm not going to do it. It's kind of a risk, and um, this is this other way that I showed you is effective with no risk. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, well, I think next I wanted to show you another quest, but I will just stop the video and I'll come back shortly. All right, see you there. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Oh, oh, hello there. Sorry, I was just uh, toasting marshmallows uh, <laughs> over here at the Morning Light Camp in Kingsmith. And uh, why am I here? Because I wanted to show you this mission with Shay Garcia Hansen. It's called The Pickup, and I've actually never done it before. I, I didn't even notice that it was here until a few days ago. But I want to show you guys, so let's... Hey, man, stay out of our stuff, okay? Okay. Ooh, that's a tight outfit. Literally tight. Um, and let's, let's see what it's all about. Oh. Our intrepid he is. fucking hero. Whoa, Pretty look at his eyes. Stunt creepy. Out there. I got my good eye on you. Hey! Hey, it's Cassie. Got, like, blonde eyebrows, something. This is Weird. the one. <gasps> hey there. Uh oh. Hot stuff. I like your style and your weapon. Cassandra is our resident Mary Magdalene. Don't let those doe eyes fool you. Ugh. She'll eat you up. I do have a big appetite. Wow, she does Comes have big with eyes. Being southern, I guess. Not that Jesus here would notice. He's immune to my female charms. Boy's got no spunk. Uh. Anyway, Che, I need to talk to you. 
There's an issue with, uh, you know. Uh-oh. Who's doing the pickup? I am. And who else? I'm going solo. I can handle myself just as well as... Not gonna happen, babe. You could get your pretty little ass hurt bad out there. Your concern is heartwarming, Jay. I'm sure it's got nothing to do with wanting to keep an eye on me. Trust issues. Hey, feel like doing us a favor? Call it your ticket to a new Jerusalem. When we finished building it. <sighs> if that's the kind of company you're talking about, well then, I might be uh, she flexible. Hitting on me? Very, very flexible. She's talking about <laughs> sexual relations. <laughs> that's what that little pause was. Uh, yeah, it's we didn't her idea get suddenly. that. Fuck off. We could get to know each other better. I'd like to find out what lies beneath those still waters. Whoa! Oh, no What's with it's women hitting on Kitty? And we won't do anything you don't want to do. Okay with you, Jesus? <laughs> Is it because, like... Well, if you're a guy, she'd be flirting with you. And... I don't know. Is that... I don't get it. Is that why everyone's a lesbian? Because they just assume you're a guy and the girl's gonna flirt with you? Or... I don't get it. But, um... Hello. Oh. She's over here. Oh, wait. That's not her. Oh. Just go in here. I guess so. This is where we were spying on Cassandra and Beaumont in one of the earlier videos. If you don't know viewers, if you didn't see that video, she is a bad guy. Something is going on in Kingsmith and they are a part of it. They may be the ones summoning the zombies or at least controlling the zombies, which What the ain't fuck good. happened here? Somebody's been tampering with the security. What? We need to be careful. Lucky thing I have you here. Oh. Maybe I'll get to see you. Flex your muscles. Ah, uh, okay. Flex. Oh, you can't flex? <laughs> I'll have to figure that one out. Escort Cassandra through... Whoa, morning light victim. Number one. I'm kind of scared, actually. Should we go this way? That's the wrong direction, I think. Oh. Whoa, she just went through the lasers. Okay, let's not go that way. Thank you very much. Careful. Motion sensors. Yeah, B's paranoid. Oh. He really treasures his privacy. What? Okay. <laughs> poor Cassandra. No, poor me. There are two of them! <laughs> That's messed up! If one wasn't annoying <laughs> enough. Okay, fun comp. There's a bug. When you die, there's two Cassandra Kings. And they're both following me. <laughs> I. What is gonna happen? This is crazy! <laughs> I mean, if you like identical twins, this is. This is for you. Oh, shoot. No! No! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh. What is my problem, viewers? Okay. I was just so caught up with the... Oh my god, there are four of them! There are four of them! Oh my god. This is so funny. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're glitching. Okay, now there's two. No, okay, now there's none. Okay, now there's one. Okay, I did not die on purpose just to show you that. That is funny. Okay. I'm gonna be careful this time. That's the light? Is that what we're not supposed to go in? Wait. Oh, I wasn't even close to it! Okay. We're okay. We're okay. Okay. I'll wait till you're over there. And we're gonna dash. Okay, go over there. Come on. Since I go over here, yeah. 
Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Okay. Well, this is just dandy. Oh, hello. She, she came back for me that time. Okay, so I guess don't go that way. Maybe go... Oh. That's all you had to do is go that way. Okay. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> ah! Why is this so hard? I don't get it. I wasn't even close to the light. It's not fair. This is... This is not fair. Okay, so we know how to get past this one. You just... Walk this way. Oh. How the heck do you get... Come on! So... Okay. Aha! That's how you do it. Oh my gosh. Sit. Keep your head down. Okay, that was a little easier. <laughs> Psych, who wears purple to a death match? No sense of fashion whatsoever. Use laser grid control. There's a box over there somewhere. Use the security I've grid. Seen B use it. Controls the laser grids. If we could get that reactivated. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, that's it? Just click on it three times? Oh. What's over here? Nothing? Okay. Oh, who are these guys? That is not morning light. Corpse of Intruder. <gasps> it's the Phoenicians! Hold on. I remember B telling me this place connects to the sewers. With the security on the fritz, you know, eyes open. Which one do we go through? Door number one or two or three? I'm gonna go with door number one. Because we're number one. Choose a door. Wow, that's so weird. What happens if we chose a different door? I'm kind of curious now. Why, what happened if we cho chose the other door? Huh. Now I guess we'll never know. That's, But we're number one, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Cross the electric grid. Another one of these little countermeasures. Keeps the drag out. They don't like being zapped. Careful. Watch your step. Maybe I should turn off my run. Oh, oops. I accidentally ran. No. Ah. Oh. Okay. Out of my way. Okay. Well, this is pretty easy. Just stay away from the blue. The blue. The blue. Stay away from the blue. This wasn't here the last time, I swear. B has got some serious trust issues. Think you can figure it out? Uh, the green one? I'm gonna guess. Oh. No, that didn't do it. Um. Okay. This one. No. That one again. Okay, this one. No! What? Obviously it wouldn't be that one. Okay. I mess up. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. We're just guessing. There we go. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm gonna level with you. It's better for everyone 
If this package doesn't end up with those really like hippies. Why? We're a different breed, you and I. We're better than they are. So let me take this with me and go through that door, and I will owe you a favor. A big one. Do we have a deal? I'm sorry, honey. I have to go. Believe me. I hate this as much as you do. What? We'll see each other again. When the both of us have grown a bit. I'd like that very much. Take care, okay? When I'm ready for you, you'll know where to find me. I promise. What? Oh, we're, we're, was I supposed to pick up the package? <laughs> Leave the maintenance tunnel. Well, what's going on? Wow, I'm so confused. Oh. Was that the wrong way? Dude, if we just went in through... What? Maybe that door was closed before. Um, <laughs> I have no idea what's going on, viewers. That was très bizarre. Um... Wow. So, I guess they gave you the choice. You could have picked up the package and given it to the morning light people? I don't know. Like, I guess we made the right choice. She owes us a favor, right? Or is Dragon going to be mad at us? The Cassandra King variable fascinates us. She will be a tsunami in this world. Mount equals a log. A what? We should have suspected that she did not fit the mold of a typical morning light sheep. A runaway, yes, but she was she but not one who is lost. When she finally strikes the fathomed shores, we will be ready, having borne witness to these early waves. In the meantime, continue to take an interest in the inner workings of the morning light and the motives of the one called B. If even the Phoenicians are chasing their package, it means they contain much more than pamphlets. Wow, we actually hit the jackpot with that one. Nice. Um, ooh, this will sell for a pretty penny. Uh, oh, oh, that only sells for 900? Okay, maybe it sells for more in the auction house, but... Wow, that was very interesting. I wonder what would have happened if we took the package. Um, does, did anyone else do that, viewers? I'd be very curious to see if What's up? what I did was right. Um... But yeah, that was that was awesome. I like that quest a lot. It like that final decision at the end. It's very interesting, and it seemed like we did the right thing because the dragon were pretty happy about it. And yeah, so I guess I'll see you guys next time. We'll probably be back in the Savage Coast. Um, there's a there are a lot of quests there that we haven't done yet, so. Uh, yeah, just stay tuned and we'll get there. Alright, see you next time, viewers. Have a good night. Bye.